Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another video of Elemental War of Magic Beta 3 B as in Badass. Right now, we're a bit farther than last time you saw us. When last you saw us, we were just a wee little hamlet up here with our little hometown of Elob and our little expanded town of Amura, which actually sounds something like it reminds me out of a character from the, uh, if you're familiar with it, Wow. Dude's building houses, seriously. Um, anyways, back to uh, what I was saying. Amura. Sounds like a character from Shogun by James Clavell. It's interesting that it came up with that. Uh, right now I have it expanding, doing its thing. You know, hanging out, saying, hey, what's up, girlfriend? You know, what, whatever, whatever it may be. I, I don't judge. Uh, right now I can't afford this guy because I decided to uh, get access to the air shrine and some wildflowers, because, you know, apparently people dig the flowers. And you know what, man? Whenever you feel like you need to sacrifice something, give someone flowers instead. That's where the traditional sense of it came about, anyways. So, let's see. Ah, I have encountered an empire. Emperor Karavox. Funny thing is, I could, like, march on over, knock on his door, and wipe him out right now with my... Uh, army that I've built with um, summoned creatures. Uh, but you'll also notice here I have uh, encountered another location <clears throat> and Lord Relias. So here's the kingdom of Lord Relias and the Alterans. <laughs> Alterans. If you've ever played Galactic Civilization, one or two, I think it was number two, um, but it could, it could have been one, I don't really remember. But I do remember them in two that the Altarans were, uh, well, sort of like a throwback. This is where they came from if you really wanted to get deep into it. Um, now, the purple dudes, I don't really know. It's a uh, Capitar. That's who they are. I had to look and see their symbol. Hey, look at that. We're learning the game. We're understanding it. We're enjoying it. It's fun. In the meantime, uh, I've made allies of both of these in that we have non-aggression treaties. Um, we can hang out, party with each other, move through each other's land safely. Um, and I want to wipe out the bad guys. I really do. But then again, in order to win, I have to wipe out everyone. So, What we're going to do right now is a little experiment. Uh, let's see. Notable location, level 4. My adventures were qualified as a level 4. So we're going to come on over here see what uh, opens up we find the remains of a short sword a short light sword for those of me to be light on their feet interesting I, I see my king who's known as this dude really he's got two thumbs and he says this dude all the time um, in this particular case he's currently equipped with a staff so a short sword plus eight to attack and a plus three to combat speed we're going to equip that so we actually become tougher and you can see we have an 18 attack 14 defense you're like wait a minute 14 defense how'd you get that well i did this little thing you know where i kind of got into this uh well i had to kill a bunch of spiders and i found azur's armor now the fun thing is there's going to be stuff like that all around the game we just have to come out and explore it um what I like, actually, is that uh, they have they have these little things out here that you can find, notable locations, and you just have to qualify to, uh, to encounter it. Yeah, it's a way to balance the game, I'm sure. So in the meantime, uh, let's see, misplaced purse or an enchanted pool. A pool. Secret knowledge from the past. Or right here. A pouch. Found nothing but... Crap. Um, and because I'm in the uh, the mood, as it were, I'm eventually going to want to uh, set up at least some relations with the the Craxons. Swarm spiders. Let's see. Uh, we're making money bringing it in. Um, I can visit these inns or locations for uh, further things. But right now, we're good. I've got my people building things that I need them to do. And, um, we're, I'm actually thinking of sending out another pioneer 
this way. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to send my peasant. We call him Toby, Toby Man. I'm going to send Toby over there just to find out what the heck's there. And in the meantime, we're going to go down here. Essence plus one, or increased arcana. We'll take the essence plus one. Learn a little bit more of that. So we're just starting on the way. Our Amuro's market has been made. And now I know some people are like, hey, why do you always do sit out there? Uh, it's purely preference. There's nothing special between sitting at this strategic map um, and then zooming in. Because right now the, the games doesn't have everything turned on, so that's pretty much it. That's my excuse at this time. A book and a bear. I've got bigger bears. But whatever. Alright, so we just found this book. We're going to read it. That increases our physical movement. And we'll go from there. Um, so... Right now you haven't seen a whole lot of tactical battle, at least I haven't put a whole lot of tactical battle out, um, or shown it, just because I've been having crashes with it, um, or it not working the way I was anticipating, um, in the sense that, you know, it would work, and not have uh, anti-aliasing issues, which um, I was encountering, so... Ah... Spiders, thug, spiders. Well, I'm kind of glad that I sent this guy out there to take a look to see what's out in the woods. Uh, right now, what do we have coming up? In two turns, I have a party of serious badasses. These guys, light infantry. They're a little spendy. They have, uh, they're a little spendy, but overall, I would say they're genuinely worth it. Um, for now, we'll just, uh, let them do their thing, and, uh, send, well, let's see, the peasant open up that way up there, shows that there's nothing of specific, he's gonna die, he's dead, I can feel it, alright, let's go here, some Gildar, crumbled statues, some treasure, book of mastery, Mm, sure, whatever. Hmm. An extra 10%, which in my case would be another plus one. This gets us to the point where we can cast some really uh, much more powerful equipment or spells. In the meantime, we're going to pick up some additional warfare stuff. Alright, I have unlocked summoning a fire giant. So, I'm going to go to spells. And let's cast the spell that I want to learn. Yes, comrade. Uh, oh, chant production. I need to head back home and, and enchant my farms. Awesome. In the meantime, summon giant fire. <laughs> I had to add my own sound effects because currently... He's just a placeholder. Fire Giant is just a troll. That's okay. They don't need to put those in there for us right now. They work. But at least, uh, you know, summoning is an option. So, uh, as far as what I want to learn next, Summon Wisps. I I'm all about summoning Armonies. Armonies? Awesome. Talking. <laughs> it's uh, something brand new. Well, we'll catch you in the next video. And we'll be a little bit further along and I'll show you where I'm at and uh, try to show some uh, design phases and things like that for folks. Okay, catch you later, folks.